pitiful. Pitiful? It's depressing. Well, it's pretty hard to turn a hospital cafeteria into a barrel of laughs. Yeah, but this is supposed to be Thanksgiving. I mean, think of all the staff and patients who are stuck here. I mean, this is it. You and Kelly weren't planning on having dinner here. <laughs> no, we're supposed to be at the Bowers right now. Oh. Where is Kelly, by the well, way? Well, that is a good question. You see, sometimes he's a child. He had this brilliant idea, got all excited about it, but ran me down here and told me to hold down the fort. Well, you may have to hold down the fort alone because this is depressing. Yeah, don't come here. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, come on. Thank you. I just don't think Thanksgiving is right unless you have oysters and stuffing. Well, that's because you're Irish, Ma. Now, Bert said that any good German stuffing has chestnuts and pumpernickel. Oh, really? Nola, what do you think? What? Would you rather have a nice, tasty oyster stuffing, or would you rather have plain old stuffing with chestnuts and pumpernickel in it? Sounds good to me. Oh, Nola, you're no help. I'm, I'm just not hungry now, Mom. I know what's the matter with you. It's your conscience that's bothering you. Mother. Oh, yes, it is. Expectant mother should be with her husband on Thanksgiving. And then for the main course, we're having roast goose with a chestnut stuffing, and then we're going to have artichoke hearts. Darling, and the time darling. You don't have to go out of your way to impress the Lewises. Daddy, this is Billy's family. Nothing's too good for them. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter to me what you serve. I'm not allowed to eat anything worth eating anyway. Oh. Quentin, darling, don't fuss. Now, I know Nola's gotten stubborn and gone home to her mother, but really, cheer up. You're going to ruin all our fun. Well, it would be much more fun if Nola and Stacy were here. Oh, Daddy, the house is going to be filled with people. It's going to be wonderful. Well, it's not going to seem full of people to me without Nola and Stacy. Quentin, why don't we uh, uh, try once more and see if you can't convince me? No. Uh, there's nothing to be done. Uh, Quentin's already apologized. I myself went over to see her personally, and I was humiliated for my efforts. There's, there's nothing anybody else can do. Yes, there is. Quentin, what are you doing? I don't want you going over there and being humiliated by your wife. I'm going over there one more time, and I'm going to speak to Nola once more. And if she doesn't agree to come home, I'm going to pick her up and carry her home. Bravo. <laughs> you look surprised to see me. Well, I didn't expect you today. You said it was important that I contact Marlon. And did you? I met him this afternoon. Well, you work fast. I'm a professional, Alan. I don't take on a job if I don't think I can deliver. Now, I've already contacted the photographer. I should have what you need within a week. Good, good, good. There is one small problem, though. What's the problem? The price is too low. You see, you neglected to mention that Ross Marlowe was such a nice guy. Does it matter? Only in that it makes the job a little more difficult. Emotionally, that is. I see. In other words, you want conscience money. Hmm. You can call it that. Call it whatever we like, as long as you get the job done. I like doing business with a man who doesn't haggle. And I like your style, Alan. What do you say you and I share a little holiday cheer well it's uh, an attractive offer but i'm afraid not i've got to catch a 6:30 flight to tulsa Ooh, tulsa's a money town doing a little investing there you might say that oil you no know, actually i'm picking up an insurance policy oh well good luck 
Thank you. <laughs> yes, I may need good luck. Billy Lewis is going to be a lot harder to handle than Ross Marler. And that's where you come in, Reva. You may be just the insurance I need to keep the entire Lewis clan in line. Oh, Nola, why are you being so stubborn? Mother, I do not want to discuss this. I do not understand why you got so upset. My husband humiliated me. I don't know why you say that. I think the deal he made with Vanessa was pretty funny myself. Funny? You think it's funny? What would you think if Maureen, me, and Tony went around town paying people off to be nice to you? You're missing the point, dear. It was Vanessa who was being difficult, not you. No, Mother, you're missing the point. My husband does not respect me. I don't agree with you, Nola. He doesn't think I can take care of myself, Mother. Oh, Nola, you know what you should do, dear? You should forget the whole thing. Well, I can't forget the whole thing. Right now, march over that telephone. March over there no, and call No, I'm your not going to do it, Mother. Nola! No, 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 no! Nola, no. you are acting like a child. Well, people are treating me like a child. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I couldn't get you to eat your liver. I couldn't get you to go to bed on time. Why do I think I'm going to be able to get you to go back to your husband? Nola! <laughs> So it is time to give you a new hairstyle. Hey, husband. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hello, sir. Where's Tony? He's uh, in the living room, I think, watching TV. That way? Yeah, right through there. Oh, good yeah, luck. Right. There you go. Jeez. Anything I can do to help? You sure can. You can just slice up all those tomatoes, if you will. Mm -hmm. Awful quiet today. Something the matter? Yeah, I'm worried about looking in. Well, Lori, why didn't you invite her over here? There's always room for one more at the Bowers. I did. She turned me down. Is she all alone? Yeah, she went back to the apartment. She's all alone there, and I just don't think that's a good idea for a holiday. It's me, Leslie Ann. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It sounds like there's a lot of people there. Oh, oh, you're having a big dinner. I, I said you're having a big dinner. Well, I, I don't want to keep you. I. No, no, no nothing's wrong. I, I just. I, I just called to say. Hello, and to wish you and Dad a happy Thanksgiving. No, I know you're busy. Okay, sure, I'll let you go. Um, I'll, I'll call you another time. Okay, Mom. And enjoy your... Mom? I think you love me. I don't understand why you got so frightened. But... I want to hold you until you're not frightened anymore. 
I'm sorry that I came at you the other night. It was, uh, it was stupid and it hurt you. I was drunk and I didn't realize what I was doing. I just need you so much, Beth. If you think that there is some hope for us, if you still love me, please call me at the stable today and let me know. I'll be waiting for your call. If not, Beth, I love you enough to let you go. Don't even think about it, young lady. Oh, honey, Bradley's right. You know, you're only going to torture yourself if you keep looking at that phone. Beth, please stop worrying about Philip Spaulding. We've taken legal action, Beth. By this time tomorrow, Philip will have seen the judge, and he won't be able to come anywhere near you. So please, sweetie, just forget about the past and just concentrate on right now, on the it's present. A, it's a holiday, Beth. It's time for celebrating. For celebrating what? Beth, don't talk like that. We have a lot to be thankful for. I mean, Bradley and I have good jobs now. Beth, you're in college. You have wonderful prospects for the future. And best of all, we're all together, just like a family should be. What Philip doesn't know can't hurt him. Right, kiddo? Philip, are you there? Happy holiday, Alan. I was afraid of this. Of what? That I'd find you alone. Well, Alan, I've been alone most of my life. I'm used to it. Thanksgiving is a holiday that you spend with your family and your friends. Well, I'm a little short right now in both well, what departments. What happened to you? What are, what are the scratches? Uh, a scratch, that's all. You know, a great many people care about you. Could we please change the subject? I was hoping that Rick would invite you to spend the holiday with him and his family. He did. So did Ross. But I have other plans. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for a call from Beth. I thought that was over. Well, it's not over. I don't think it ever will be as far as I'm concerned. I know about the charge of harassment that her family brought against you. I was hoping that would bring you to your senses. Oh, and you don't stop loving somebody just because of a court order. No, I suppose not. Look, I'm, I'm sorry that I can't accompany you to see the judge tomorrow. That's okay. I mean, I mean you're, uh, you're not responsible for me anymore, right? You don't stop loving somebody because of a court order. I'll always think of myself as your father, Philip. But why, why don't I cancel my flight? We can have dinner together. I can't. I, I have to stay here and wait for that call. You know, this harassment charge is serious. I hope you don't do anything foolish. I'm not looking for any trouble. Anything I can do for you? Anything you need? What I need, you can't deliver. Well, I, uh, I better go if I'm going to make my plan. Look, if, if, if you need to get in touch with me, just call the office. I'll be checking in. Okay. I'll see you. Goodbye, Philip. What's up? Well, I was just wanting to change your mind about dinner. You know, we have a lot of ladies in here cooking up quite a storm. Ah, uh, thanks, Rick, but I've uh, I got other plans. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm waiting for a call right now, so I can't tie up the line, okay? Okay, Phil, look, if you change your mind, don't hesitate to call, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, Rick. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. 